Okay, so now I will hand over to our next speaker. <coughs> which is Okay, the first rule of any memo is the audience wants to know right away, read it, send it to someone else to read, or just skip the whole thing. Well, Rene has already left, he decided, ahead of time. The primary audience for this next talk is uh, Emacs users. Let's see. But if you're supporting Emacs users, or, I don't know, Vim, you know, the, any place you can configure your editor to help you out with little macros, then you might get a benefit uh, from this approach or something similar. Let's see. So this is the first slide, but what you're probably more interested in is how many are left. There are seven more, but bad news. I'm going to show you hidden slides, so there are 26 more, but I'll go through them quickly. Nice animation. It's a gift from CSS. If you learn CSS, you can decorate your HTML, even with cute stuff like this at no cost. I'm going to talk about the use case, the approach, the shortcuts. I'm a slow typist. I took the typing course twice in summer vacation, and I didn't get faster the second time. But I do hover over the keys. I noticed I'm generally slower with the modifier keys, like Escape, Alt, and Control. And, well, Emacs is programmable. Get help from it. Emacs actually stands for editing macros, not for escape, meta, alt, control, shift. And our tickle syntax is really simple. It's so simple we don't call it a syntax. We just talk about lexical analysis. But nonetheless, syntax highlighting editors, um, th think of it as syntax and they can help us out here. So what I did is I made a bunch of shortcuts tied to the semicolon, because the semicolon on my keyboard is very easy to find. I know where that is. It's on the home row. It's rarely used in TCL scripts. I won't have to escape it often. And uh, the natural punctuation is always semicolon space. So a quick reveal, I've got about a dozen frequently used uh, shortcuts. So if I'm typing hello, and I type semicolon space, world, it looks just like you would expect it. So the shortcut semicolon space turns into semicolon space. Don't have to think about it. If I type semicolon twice in a row, I get it escaped without having to search for that backslash key. I do quotes. That's one of our lexical conventions. And if I have an active reg region, I select this and I type semicolon Q, it quotes it for me. And this can be useful with curly quotes because I understand. To help out Donald, I'm going to start doing everything with a single argument to expression, which I haven't been doing in the past, but it turns out my editor can help me there. So open a block, make a subcommand, so these square brackets, also a shortcut, parentheses, not parentheses, whiles, untils, expansions, skip that, add a block. Just frequently used things, and this is about it. And not too much burden for a, an Emacs user to learn these keystrokes. OK, for the Emacs users out there, this presentation contains the Emacs code. So go to eurotickle.eu, 
and download this file and cut and paste, you're ready to use it. Other keyboards, it looks like on the German keyboard, the hash key would be a nice choice, or in Switzerland, maybe the dollar, in France, the star. If you get the source code for Emacs, you can make it work the way you want it to. So some takeaways, it helps me. The source code is here. Make it work for you. Thank you. <laughs> Questions, comments? There's a question. No, it's a comment. We were on the penultimate slide before I figured out that you were talking about specifically GNU Emacs oh. as opposed to all the other Emacs or editors that use Emacs key bindings. Okay. I know some people think GNU stands for generally not used, <laughs> but it's the only one I use. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. So I was real excited, and then, oh, that didn't apply to me. <laughs> Make it work for you. <laughs> Is Anyone that because else? of the tickle wars? He needs to... Yeah, I, I wrote my own text editor in tickle, and it uses Emacs key bindings, but... Okay. I, yeah. Yes, okay, you can do it in, in tickle instead of lisp. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Just because Emacs was now the central topic of this short talk, uh, I'm pretty sure one could define such diagraphs also in VI or in VI improved. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> Thanks.